So here we are, part two of our chord progression assignment. One more thing to set up here. I want the correct, I want all the same, the chord progressions for each of these to be on one line. So in other words, major key circle progression, there are five of them. So I need to set this up so that there's five measures on one line. And I do that by grabbing five measures using Shift Apple M and changing the value in the field to five. And in doing that, it will do this for me. Okay, next, begin working with the finale. Now, make sure your layer is set to layer one for bass and alto. Scale degree one, C, four, F. Now, I already have everything set up here, so I can just add my next two pitches. Next, I change the layer to layer two, and then I add my my tenor and my soprano here and there. Okay, chord progression one of forty-seven is now done. Now this is where finale shines. We can use the transpose function by selecting the selection tool, drawing a circle around the box. Hit Apple C to copy, and then the next measure V to paste. Next utilities transpose up diatonically a second. Now two chord progressions are done. Copy, paste, transpose. Three chord progressions are now done. The only problem here is that. The soprano is going to get pretty high if I just continue to do this. So in the, the next example, I want to change the key. I want to change the key. And notice that 4 to 7 is not shown here because that's not a, a standard progression because of the tritone of the bass. Okay, so my next chord progression is 6 to 2. All right, we can use the same... Okay. Now I'm going to change the key using key signature tool. Okay. Now think about this. If the next progression is to be six to two, that means that your soprano line is going to be up a perfect fourth in C major, which makes that awfully high. That's the highest note we would want to write in the chorale. So selecting a key that has the sixth scale degree lower is what we want to achieve here when we do this. Okay, so changing the key perhaps to E major would be a good idea because the sixth scale degree is E. And let's try it. In this case, because these are the same pitches in E major, we're going to hold them to the original pitches. Another chord progression is done. Okay, so we can see how this is going to go. Next is 5 to 1. Again, copy, paste, Trent utilities, transpose. Now we're going to transpose down diatonically a second. Five progressions are done. Okay, so that's how we get through the major keys. We just simply set up the voicing and then transpose it accordingly, being aware of what the voicing is and whether or not it's getting to be too high or too low. So that's it. That's how we can get through 47 of them relatively rapidly by using Finale as a tool. Part two will show the Roman numerology and how different ways for working with Roman numerals and figures in Finale.